So if we go to the symbol page and focus specifically on the chart here, so right now we're in the basic charting, but you might have noticed recently if you click advanced, we've overhauled the entire UI for advanced charting, which is primarily for technical analysis. Um, so a lot of interesting stuff here and a couple not uh, notable changes that we've made. So uh, we'll do a walkthrough of the toolbar. If we do a walkthrough of the toolbar, um, there's a couple different features here. Right now we're in a candlestick graph, but it, we can change that to a variety of different ones, such as line graph. Um, we could do mountain. Um, there's a lot of customization here that you can do. And then also we can change the interval type. So within the time range that we've selected, let's say six months, this will also customize the time interval within that time range. You also have the ability to create custom views, which is really useful if you want to save settings for a specific chart. Um, let's say you prefer a specific type uh, of graph and then specific indicators and things like that. You can quickly save those into custom views and then reference or apply them later on different symbols. And I mentioned technical analysis. So here, if you click indicators, you have a whole list of all the different popular types uh, of technical analysis and charting tools. So you can search from the list. But if you go to most popular, you'll notice specific ones like MACD or moving averages. So let's apply those. From here, you can see now we have MACD at the bottom and you can click on plots if you want to delete that. And you can also right click edit settings to customize the values that are being used for that MACD calculation. And we've also added one moving average here as well. So if you wanted to do uh, like a short term and a long term moving average, you could apply both of those. So what we would do is now we have two of them and we'd edit one of them to be a longer period. And then maybe we change the color. And so very quickly, uh, we're able to pull in all the different important indicators that we would need to do this type of technical analysis.